guy says lying's wrong, why'd you lie to the cops about me? Hmm? What's he gonna think about you now, hypocrite? Hey, fuck off! I don't care what God thinks, there is no God, he doesn't exist. Ali, wait, you can't just go in there, you're gonna get caught. You would have told Jack about all the little things you used to do when you were playing old Carly Goods. <laughs> to a specialist. They're not putting me on any medication yet. It's basically counselling. Just getting my head around it. I'm trying to get my head around it. Well, some days will be better than others. How's the baby? It's fine. So far, so good. Can we talk? to spend the rest of our lives together and you just took off. I just felt so guilty every time I looked at you. It's like history repeating itself. You know, it's not good enough that I screw up my own life. I'm not going to try and justify this to you, Kaz. I can't. How are you? Your health? Well, they've started me into counselling. I'm going to a drug cocktail, which my body seems to be handling okay so far. So. You know there's a really good chance that the baby won't get it? Yeah, I know. There's meant to be a bright spot in all of this. I suppose that's it. We never really had much of a chance to enjoy being parents to be, did we? Baby's the one reason I have to be strong. You know, we could do this together. We could support each other. I'm not going to bail on you again. I'm sorry. I, I just, I don't know what to think. It's good to see you. It's good to be talking. But more than that, I, I just don't know. Sorry. Oh, hey, see you guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to sneak up on you. No, I'm just, I, I, I'm just a bit edgy. I think we all are. We're going to Rick's. I'm going to stay there for a bit. I think it's too creepy being here. Yeah. I know that if I just close my eyes, I'll see his face. Mm, I know what you mean. I'm packing my stuff. I don't want to be here either. Well, I'm glad you didn't clear out before now. I'd, I'd be dead otherwise. Yeah, Sam, you deserve a medal or something. You saved our lives. I'm just glad it's over. Well, at least I hope it is anyway. Oh, of course it is. They've got him now. And if he does make it through, we won't be going anywhere in a hurry. Yeah, we'll see you later. Yes, bye. I reckon Matilda must have been terrified. Yeah, well, it's over now. I know. I don't have to be scared anymore. None of us do. Mm. And perhaps we can uh, get you home soon. You're mm. certainly going to heal a lot faster there than here. Do you want me to chat to Rachel about that? Oh, no, no, no. They'll um, discharge me when they're ready. Uh, would you be the first person in history to actually prefer hospital food? <laughs> Trust me, Pippa, if I have to eat any more tuna mornay, it's going to be the end of me. Is this about Annie? No. Look, I'm happy to go home whenever the doctors think that I'm ready. But I do expect Annie to come and visit me before then. So what if she doesn't? Well, everything else Tom said has come true. I'm sure this will happen as well.
Hey, 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 what are you doing? I think uh, the official term is making myself useful. <gasps> Look, you just take it easy, okay? Come on, the Ambo said you could have a concussion. I used to do uh, kickboxing classes with my personal trainer. Fat lot of good that did me today. Oh, well, you were a little tipsy, yes. Trust me, I sobered up very quickly. Oh, I bet you did. It all just... It happened so fast, you know. I, I, it didn't seem like it was real. It was... It was almost like it was happening to somebody else. I was just scared. If you tell anybody about this, I'll... I'll never forgive you. Oh, what? That you're human and you get scared every now and then? Yes. I've tried really hard to convince people otherwise. Oh, I always knew that had to be an act. No, you didn't. Okay, not always. Thank you. Though, let's face it, not much of my behaviour warrants giving me the benefit of the doubt. Oh, you're not that bad, Jess. When you're not trying to jump my bones, that is. A lot of men wouldn't see that as a bad thing. Though they're probably the type of men I should have stayed away from. Yeah, well, we live and we learn, don't we? Yeah. We certainly do. Sorry. For? Throwing myself at you. Oh, look. My very flattered ego says there's no apology necessary. It's just that when I saw you with Rachel, I... I realised how stupid I'd been. Anyway, I think that's possibly enough honesty for one night. Look, it's a pity you weren't dishonest last time you were in town.